So I have a lovely field just here. And I'm thinking I would like to create an animation of that butterfly flying from left to right. So luckily I have a graphic of a butterfly just here, which I'm going to drag into my composition just now. Uh, by the way, guys, the background field just here and the butterfly, they are both illustrator graphics, which I have brought into After Effects. Apologies, I'm not going to show you how I did that just here, but I do have a whole nother video where I take a deep dive into bringing illustrator graphics into After Effects. So if you're not sure how I did that, maybe jump over, check out that video and come back. So we've got our butterfly in our scene just here, and I'm liking the uh, starting position just here. Notice my playhead is at the beginning. It's on the far left just here. So with my butterfly layer selected just here, I'm going to go and find the position value just here. And again, I'm happy with its position on the page. My playhead's at the start. So let's click on the little stopwatch next to position. That will insert a keyframe for us on the timeline just here. Now I'm thinking I would like the butterfly to hit the right edge roughly around the two second mark. So let's grab that playhead, drag it roughly to the two second mark just here. And then all I have to do is grab the butterfly and drag it to the right. Notice After Effects has automatically inserted a keyframe for us just here. So if I drag the playhead back and forth just here, you can see it's moving from left to right. Excellent. Okay, clearly uh, we need to work on the path just a little bit here because we all know that butterflies cannot fly straight. So let me zoom in a little bit and let's focus on the beginning of the path just here. Oh, let me zoom out for a second here. I should point out guys, notice this little dashed line just here, that represents the path that the butterfly is actually following. We're about to alter the way that path looks. So let's uh, zoom in on the far left just here. Now at the beginning of the path just here, there's a little point just here that uh, represents the beginning of the path. There's a tiny little circle just here. I'm gonna click and drag that. This little circle represents the end of the handle for this point at the beginning of the path. So if I zoom out a little again, you can see that as I change this handle, the shape of the path is changing. I'm also free to uh, move this point as well, guys. So I can grab this and change the position of the point itself, as well as continue to manipulate the handle to change the shape of our path. Let's move over to the right side. I can click on this last point and I can move that wherever I like and I can grab its handle and move it to change the shape. So I might zoom out a little bit just here. I'm really gonna put some uh, nice extreme curves into this path just here. Okay, this is looking great. And guys, I'm just gonna scrub through the timeline just here. So notice, as I move through the timeline just here, the butterfly is indeed following that path that we have changed. So this is fantastic. This is looking really good. I'll just do that again, having zoomed in. But you can see that the butterfly is not nicely orientated to the path. So let's come down to the rotation value just here, because you're thinking, that does seem to be the next natural place to go. So if we come down to rotation and I'll bring the playhead back to the start, uh, guys, you can actually click inside of here and change this rotation number to be whatever you like. The nice quick way is just to grab the number with your mouse and drag left or right to change the number. So I'm going to change the rotation so that the butterfly is facing along the path. And now if I scrub through the timeline just here, it looks great at the start, but you can see that its rotation doesn't change. So it's looking a little bit odd once it gets past those first few frames. So here's the big takeaway from this lesson just now, guys. We have the butterfly layer selected. What you wanna do is to have it auto-orient to follow the path, you need to come up under layer, transform, and look for this bottom option just here, auto-orient. So if I click on that, it'll bring up this dialog box just here, change the audio orientation to orient along path, choose OK, and let's have a look at what we've got. So this is fantastic. The butterfly's orientation is changing, but something's a little bit off, isn't it? We need to go back and uh, change that rotation. So if I come back to the very start just here, and if I come down again to rotation, and if I just dial in a number that I think looks pretty good, again, I'm just doing that by dragging with my mouse. If I scrub through just now, check it out, guys. That's looking fantastic. The butterfly is following the path Beautifully. Okay, so let's uh, set this back to fit and let's just play through. I'm just tapping my spacebar just here. Hey, fantastic. That's looking great. 
Perfect. Okay, so just a quick summation there, guys. If you need to have a object which is following a path, auto orient itself to follow that path. With it selected, just go up to a layer, transform, and choose auto orient. I hope that helps, guys. Catch you later.